All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition, episode 32, 32 of Word, no, oh, <laughs> it's Friday, <laughs> what is this, um, my, look, it's Good Friday, look at that, um, uh, what is this? My FX Buddies, the podcast. And I say podcast because there's a blog which you can find at myfxbuddies.blogspot.com. Also, Spotify.com. My FX Buddies has a, a video there and the audio. RSS.com has a transcript that is really good uh let's see that's it right yeah so and if you still didn't get any of that there's a uh, uh, just internet search my fx buddies and the links will come up also it's on um i have a channel i guess on rumble but that's just the video it's the same video that is going to be on the blog so you don't have to go and subscribe to the rumble um but if you're watching this and you have subscribed at rumble because i get not everyone watches uh well rumble is special and so i know there's some people that that's the only uh what is this social media or media site they will use because supposedly they don't track you you have a little more uh free speech there but anyway so hello to the rumblers i don't know that's probably corny they probably don't want to be called that but why not it's rumble you're on it you're a rumbler <laughs> all right so that's the video that's on the blog uh just for all of that okay we went over two minutes already this is gonna be short remember i had said i would come back come back nikki come back uh the 28th i was gonna but i didn't it just didn't work out <laughs> but so today on this good friday there's hardly any news i said well i'll do this um and we'll just get into it i i believe it's gonna be a very quiet weekend i hope they prove me wrong so um it's friday i won't post definitely unless there's something super fantastic tomorrow i would post that but maybe on sunday i doubt it though but so yeah uh, so if you don't hear from me for three or four days everything's fine it just means there's nothing to post no need to waste your valuable time listening to me ramble on right okay and thank you new subscribers across all platforms um there was something else i wanted to say i don't remember all right so let's get into it uh this the title of this post is advisor to asadani the dollar is on the way to further decline and 70 percent of Iraqi traders have entered the platform. So the platform is the new, um, uh, where they have to go, they can request dollars, but it has to go through the US Treasury and the Federal Reserve and all of that, right? That's that. And the, the dollar to, look at our $100 bill. Isn't it just so pretty? I don't know why they chose that picture. Oh, I know why, because they're talking about the dollar in this in this article and that is we want the dollar rate to get to it seems right we need the dollar rate to get to the rate that's on the cbi which is 1310 or at least 1320 it's not there yet it did get to i think the lowest it got let me see was 1460 i think maybe it was 1470 but today, Friday, 
March 29th, because I don't think I said that. And I've post I'm doing this early enough where it should post for today. And I apologize if you hear some low talking. Just ignore that. That's the thing that I listen to that I'm addicted to that I just can't pull myself away from. Yes. On the 26th, it got to 1462.5. But it has since gone back up. And today, it's in the 1480s. So 1480 dinars per dollar. So this article came out on the day that it had the dollar rate had gone down. Okay, so yeah, it was a televised statement by this guy who is, uh, they let him speak a lot this week. He's just an advisor. I don't know what kind. Usually it specifies financial advisor, political advisor, defense. Uh, here he's just an advisor. The dollar is on its way to further decline in their country, right? And is subject to supply and demand. So that's how it can be manipulated. They can very easily say, oh, we're shutting down this this source, and then it'll make the price go up. They can open new sources, and then they can make the price go down. Very easy to manipulate. All right. So, um, yeah. All right. Now, so there's two articles about the budget. Here's one. Uh, they have re redone i don't know what so now all of a sudden the balance total the total of the 24 budget here the size of the 2024 budget has amounted to 228 trillion dinars okay so that means they've made adjustments right and then let's see i'm gonna go down i'm pretty sure i put so people are waiting for a major announcement from Zidani. And he did make an announcement. I believe it was yesterday here. And after he made this, uh, it was a speech. But um, they didn't put the whole speech in writing like they do sometimes. They just had some bullet points, which I probably should have put here now that I think about it, but I'm trying to keep this short. Okay. Sadani announces the start of setting 2024 budget schedules. So that is, why is that big? Um, it does seem that um, they're going to release the 2023, the rest of the 2023 funds and the 2024 lots of people believe if they're going to open up the 2024 it's got to have the new rate so we'll see but anyway so yeah so he came on and said i have the 2024 schedules um we're gonna look at it with the council of ministers the supreme commission for coordination and there was one other group um and then the government is keen on making the mission of local governments a success. Okay. Despite the presence of trolls hmm, who, don't, <laughs> who do not like the vision of stability in the country. And they know, he knows who they are. He knows who those trolls are, right? So, yeah. This is a big deal. It requires working with a vision that takes into consideration the coming years and meeting entitlements so they put this out and so the focus is on the local governments because that's who this money is going to go to if they're going to do these projects the money's going to go to the governor or whatever of of that government they stop calling them provinces they don't call them cities they call them governance and that's where the issue was in years past the money was given for projects halfway through. The money ran out. The person who was took the money has gone. And then the project stalled. So I think this is good. I think it means they're getting ready to give them their money. We'll see, right? We'll see. All right. This is a pretty good article. 
the title is Fiscal and Monetary Policies Succeed in Undermining the... Oh, wait. I need to go backwards. Anyway, I'll finish this since I started it. Um, the parallel dollar. So they talk about a lot of the changes that have been made. The platform for selling the dollar. Here's that SCOTA, the Customs and Border System. Some other things that Aliyah Locke, the CBI governor, has done in coordination with the U.S. Treasury. Uh, so, yeah. Price has come. Containers, containing seasonal price fluctuations for a high demand because it's Ramadan, for those of you who don't know. They are still in Ramadan and there's specific foods and clothing and sweets that they buy and typically the price goes up, but they tried really hard to contain that. So it is a pretty long article. I, I see that there, but you know, you might want to read it. Okay, so let's go back up to what I skipped. Uh, let's see. I think this one's... Oh, no, okay. So, look at this very handsome gentleman. Doesn't he look like the ad of the gray hair dye mix box? <laughs> That's what he looks like to me, but look at the title of this article. An Iraqi faction leader threatens Biden with a broader attack than the Al-Aqsa flood. If you don't know what that is, think October 7th. So this is a threat. Uh, they're going to have to deal with this. And I can't find the other one. There was a smaller one that was even more gruesome. And maybe that's why maybe God doesn't want me to find it and post it. Um, so this is just some brewing in the background, uh, you know, um, but you might want to read that and see the, this group and look, they have a, they have a flag, see their flag back there. And he's looking at, uh, some official documents it looks like, <laughs> but anyway, this is the Islamic resistance in Iraq, but for this, they're calling themselves the true promise. So don't take this as a threat. This is a promise. That's how I take that when I read this. But yeah, so I wanted to bring that because no one talks about that. Everyone only wants to talk about the positive things. And that's very serious because in the past, they have made good on their promises. All right. Here's an article. Exchange companies in Mosul demand that they be entered into the currency selling window so this is the auction currency sell auction and i know there's some gurus out there saying there's no more auctions or the auctions are going away and i always have to remind people you can go to cbi.iq scroll down to the bottom look to the image of dollars click on that and it will give you the daily auction schedule how much was sold the prices everything and Mosul clearly believes they're not going away because they're demanding not even their banks exchange companies which are like banks for some you know some people um they want their place at the auction so if they're demanding a place at the auction that means they exist and they they these people don't believe they're going away anytime soon and the whole purpose of it is to get dollars for now, that's what they sell there is dollars. So, all right. A deputy expects the dollar exchange rate to reach 1400. I know it says 140, but it, that's per 100,000. So it's 1400 dinars per dollar. And it's not very good. He says we can get there, but it's very likely in the coming weeks. And then he says, yes, they've been, they've, reduce the price 10 percent within the three months so yeah but at least they're acknowledging that it has gone down they've reduced smuggling they've automated procedures and that's how they're getting things under control all right here the stock exchange announces the launch of trading on mr bonds and i'm not sure i think those are like real estate bonds i'm not really sure i don't really care the fact is that guy, remember the um, 
mm, I can't think of his name, but uh, the, I mean his title, and it's not listed here. But there was that guy. He wanted um, these bonds sold on the ISX, and here they are. He made it happen. He also wants precious metals there. He has a lot of plans, but uh, they're messing with him right now. And then the terms of the bonds are here and everything. Uh, they go live April 21st. So I think that's interesting. All right. So, yeah. So see, Iraq is moving along, doing the things they can do. This is a really good article also. A government strategy to enhance investments. Iraq is on the verge of a new era of economic development. Another article says uh, renaissance there. Okay. So you could read this if you want. It's just, you know, same thing. They're entering in a new era of development and diversifying the sources of economy by revitalizing. I like that. Re the private sector and investments while indicating that the government of Sudani, they have more words there, but we'll just call them Sudani, is looking more towards activating the public private partnerships plan to finance major development projects during the next two years. So, yeah, that's a new thing. PPP, public private partnership plan. So, I'm glad to see that. Again, that's forward movement. Here's this article 35 again, Companies Law. Yeah, so it's kind of long. It looks like it's, this is, I would say this is a medium. No, it's long. It's long. <laughs> but you know what you could do? You could read the first two paragraphs and the last paragraph. And you could pull some pretty good information. All right. This was a video of people. So they went into the streets and they spoke to people. But there's like a little description that you're, they put in English. But the Iraqi dinar. Between the struggle with the strength of the dollar and maintaining its monetary value in the markets. Nearly a year has passed since the government decision to change trading from the dollar to the Iraqi dinar in an attempt to stabilize the economic situation in the markets. Now, isn't that interesting? It says nearly a year, but didn't they just say January of 2024? So they've been working all this time to get the dollars right out and just be strictly dinar. Yeah. And and they've they've done a lot. They've come a long way. Okay. So then the next part of the same sentence with strict measures against those who violate this decision, but the purchasing power in the markets remain the same due to the instability of the dollar exchange rates. What are the solutions to the stability and rise in the value of the Iraqi dinar? According to economic expert. Yeah, there's his name. Okay, so they're talking about, see the people, they're talking about purchasing power probably every day. But it doesn't make it into the articles. So I thought, oh, this is a nice little glimpse into what they talk about, right? That we don't get to see. Okay, I talked about this already, and I talked about that already. We should be almost done. Here, I just put this here so you could see. They're really courting China. China's courting them. I don't know. Seems to be a mutual courting relationship. <laughs> but, you know, we're in the middle of that, right? They just, it may say that in here. Let's see. <laughs> well, here's the title for those who are listening and not looking. Al Mandalawi. And who is he? He is the acting House Speaker, which is considered a president in Iraq. He replaced, well, sorry, he didn't replace. He was the deputy, first deputy. So since Halabusi's been removed, he, Mandalawi is now the uh, fill in. Okay, so he calls on Chinese companies for long-term investments and sustainable cooperation in Iraq. And did you know this week 
there's a bunch of U.S. CEO, corporate CEOs meeting in China also. And they met with President Xi. Yeah, isn't that interesting? You can look that up. Let's see. He called on Chinese companies to engage in long-term investment opportunities and create joint and sustainable cooperation. So, yeah. All right. I think this is the last article here. Yes. All right. 20 minutes. Okay. So we'll get out of here in 25 minutes. All right. So if you want to read this, this is like a, this is this guy, Fadi Shamari. The one, oh, see here they're calling him a political advisor. Okay. He's been being interviewed this whole week. He was on TV. His, um, what, Things that he said were turned into articles. So this one, Al Shamari reveals, you know, I think he's the one. Let me see. Is this the one? Yeah, Fadi Al Shamari. So look, he started the blog. He's the one that says the dollar is on the way to further decline. And we're ending with him. Look at that. That just happened. All right. Um, let me go back up here. Sorry if I just made you dizzy. <laughs> So, uh, Shamari reveals the most prominent files of Sudani's visit to Washington and the government's ambition regarding the dollar expanded. The reason it says expanded is sometimes they'll put out the first article and it'll be short. Then they go back and they put the details and that's what that means. So, you could read this. Um let's see let's see sudani is a fierce follower and enters into details from multiple sections for the sake of achievement not interference hmm who is he talking to there working with him is no comfort but there is a pleasure of production i like that right because sometimes you got to kick butt to Right? Have you ever heard that? I don't know. Maybe because my multi-level multi marketing days. That was my phone that went off, not yours. You don't have to check your phone. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, but anyway. So yeah. So he's really. That's why so much has been getting accomplished under him. Well, part of why. Partly is we want it to be done, right? Or we, or it wouldn't be done. That's my personal feeling. But um, yeah. So he's really pushing to get this done because it's just dragging on and on and on. And you know, he who what prime minister doesn't want to go down in history of being the one that brought Iraq's money back, right? Right. Okay, but anyway, so yeah. So, um, see, some of these things have been idle for 15 years. Sudani's visit to Washington will be practical and not just for taking pictures. So, there's stuff here. You can read it if you want. Um, but, yeah, they're looking to do some things. Here's one. The decline in the dollar exchange rate is a cumulative indicator of the actions and monetary policy of the central bank and the government. The dollar is on its way down and will be subject to supply and demand areas. So, you know, see, my eyes go to the money because that's what I focus on. The money. All right. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, I just wanted to show you. So there's other things going on. A lot is going on inside of Iraq that has nothing to do with the RV. So here, Iranian gas exports to Iraq reach 15 billion. They talk about our dollar. Um, this, yeah, this was a pretty good article. Submitting recommendations to Economic Ministerial Council regarding sanctioned banks. They did something. Sadani wants a the interest rates to decline over time instead of staying fixed. That's in discussion. Um, yeah, here it is. Um, international companies want to invest to help these marshes, which are very important to Iraq. Um, so see, 
Oh, they raise the price of gas. And boy, oh boy, mm, is that causing... That infuriated some of the parliament members. Well, you know, at least they're pretending that it did. They are demanding Sadani and the oil minister come to parliament to be questioned. So they don't think it's going to pass. Um, here's articles about gold, more oil, you know. So they're doing a lot. It's just not a lot about the RV, nothing exciting. So things are happening daily. Countries are still coming there to visit. Um, you know, so yeah, there's nothing bad. Nothing going in reverse. It's um, so it's all good. So it's 25 minutes. I'm going to close this out. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. In this time, you know, it's no coincidence that much of the world is taking time to connect with their God. The Christians, you know, we have. This whole week was Holy Week, and then it's going to culminate on Sunday with what I call Resurrection Sunday. The Muslims are in the middle of Ramadan, which is a time to, you know, connect with God amongst other things. So please take some time this weekend. I know a lot of people don't, you're not around family or whatever, but... um appreciate what you have even if you don't think you have much you still have more than a lot of people right and um yeah that's it i hope you're going to spend time with family at least talking to them on the phone or people you consider family right because you know sometimes we make a family not the family we're born into right <laughs> but anyway um I appreciate all the kind comments that come towards me. And I'm just trying to help people understand the articles. That's all I do is articles. I don't have contacts or anything. And just want you to not give up on this because it is going to happen. And accumulate while we wait for the rate to appreciate. Don't miss any mails and pay all your bills. Again, I say thank you for listening. Oh, yeah. And. If there's a, um, like, not like, join, follow, whatever button, push that, and then if all things work like they're intended to, when I update, you'll be notified, right? All right. So, um, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your morning, night, noon whatever time frame you're enjoying this content and in the words of one of my favorite people in the world enjoy your Friday and enjoy your weekend until next time